So let's quickly look at the two types of Python files that you're going to be working with. This one is a .py file, that's a Python file. And in here, every line is needs to be valid Python, and that's going to be run when you run this Python file. You can see the VS Code recognizes the .py extension because it's given the Python icon up here. And so that basically means it's going to help with formatting and showing how different code should be laid out. And by default, it's going to lay code out a certain way, which we'll get to. You'll see that later. The other, the other Python file format that you're going to be working with is .ipynb files. So I've called this one notebook.ipynb ipynb is short for interactive python notebook and that's what kind of file this is you can see again vs code recognizes it and it's given it a particular icon and formatted it in a particular way in this case a very particular way is how it's been formatted so these interactive python notebook files or notebooks for short they consist of cells so this light gray box over here that is one cell and i can create many different types of cells i can add cells below and then there could be many cells in a notebook now these cells by at the moment are python cells they are meant to be containing python code but i can also add markdown cells and so markdown cells they can render markdown something like this and then when i run the cell or kind of accept it by clicking this tick arrow or holding shift and pressing enter then it's gonna render that markdown. When I do the same for some Python code, it's not gonna render anything, but it's gonna run that Python code. So I can click this play arrow to run that cell, but I really don't like hitting those buttons and I wanna see you guys use the shortcut, hold shift with your index finger, press enter with your middle finger to run that cell. And here it asks me which version of Python that I want to use. I'm gonna use my base miniconda Python. So I select that. Now it's connecting to it in a second it's going to run it and hopefully then as it has it prints hello so notebook files are great because they let you intertwine code and text it can be useful as an educational resource but it can also be particularly useful for kind of uh, walking people through what your code does for example so you'll see you'll be seeing a lot of these there is a lot of different things that these notebooks can do i don't want to get too far into it but i will show you another thing that's important which is the difference between between uh, command mode and edit mode. So right now you can see that, for example, if I click on this uh, on this markdown cell, it's got a blue border on the left. Then if I hit enter, I kind of get the blue border around the outside, and that shows that I'm editing this cell. So here um, I'm editing the cell. You see the blue border. If I press escape then I don't get that blue border. And now I'm in this kind of command mode. So now if I press certain keys, for example, if I press A, it's not gonna type an A. My cursor isn't anywhere on that cell, but it's gonna run a command which corresponds to the command bound to the A key. In that case, the A is short for above. And when I hit A, it creates a cell above. There's another command, you might have guessed it, B for below, which creates a cell below. And there's many more commands which you can look up. Um, for example, two Ds, it's going to delete the cell. Um, what else is there? If I press M when I'm in command mode, it's going to turn the cell from Python into Markdown. And then it says I can double click to edit. So there's a bunch of different commands and um, you might be wondering, okay, well, I've clicked on this cell. It's got no blue border. I'm typing keys, but they're not typing in the cell. That's just because you haven't selected it and been editing it. So that's, good. that's enough to get started with notebook files. The main thing you need to know is that you can combine different types of code with markdown and you can run those cells by holding shift and pressing enter.